happening in the world? My name is Reagan. Today is October 11th, and these are your past week's headlines. Buckle up, Dorothy, because Kansas is going bye-bye. Took us all week, but finally divisions calmed down, and we're going to raise the debt ceiling by $480 billion. Until December, we'll, we'll come right back around to the debt ceiling crisis again, and maybe default at that time. Who knows? We'll see we're t who's taking bets by going through a drawn-out, convoluted, and risky reconciliation process. That was simply unacceptable to my caucus. I also forgot to mention last week the groundbreaking Pandora Papers, which were published from the ICIJ. It was the biggest ever leak of offshore data exposing the financial secrets of rich and powerful. Millions of documents reveal offshore deals and assets to acquire more than a, of more than 100 billionaires. 30 world leaders and 300 public officials, they expose secret offshore affairs of the 35 world leaders, incurring, including current and former presidents, prime ministers, and head of state. They also shine a light on the secret finances of more than 300 public officials. Everybody's corrupt. Everybody has money in faraway places like Wyoming, the Cayman Islands, where it's, there's tax havens. But we knew this already. Squid Game was, in fact, the most popular streaming show worldwide, breaking records, and a Russian film was shot in space. There was, of course, the massive oil spill in Southern California by Amplify Energy, potentially over 126,000 gallons of oil leaked. Facebook, Instagram, and others affiliated with Facebook went down on Monday. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, 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 whoa. Nobel Prizes were given out for several things, uh, announced Monday for discovering how the human body detects temperature and touch, uh, a study on Tuesday and the role that humanity plays in cha our changing climate, climate change, and another prize in chemistry, and another person for literature, first black person for literature, and two more on Friday for a Filipino and Russian journalist. Okay. Back to Facebook, who chose profits over safety of its content, like hate speech and calls to violence. They literally allowed this to happen. They allowed the virus to proliferate. William Shatner, who's 90 years old, is going to space on Bozo's Blue Origin rocket. Meanwhile, Bozo is suing NASA over the moon because we've gone full stupid mode. But we knew this already. The CIA is reorganizing and China has been rationing electricity and its power supply crisis because of a coal shortage. Yes, that's what they claim. Turkey par the Turkey parliament ratifies the Paris Climate Agreement because they got hit hard this year from wildfires and floods. The US, by some distance, is responsible for the largest share of CO2 emissions from 1850 to present day. The US was found to have released 509 gigatons of CO2 since 1850, representing 20% of the global total, while China was found to be second by 11%, Russia 7%, Brazil 5%, Indonesia 4%, and Germany and the UK accounted for 4 and 13%. So we all have work to do. On Monday, the Pope and 40 other religious leaders issued pre-COP26 appeal on the climate change. They called for net zero as soon as possible and that we must limit warming to 1.5. Nothing but existing. I'm just a wizard in a cage. Let's take a break. Watch this car plow into a 7-Eleven. Car smashed into the store, hit a bunch of customers inside. Seven people were hurt, all non-life-threatening injuries, fortunately. Stanley it's like your worst nightmare. You're going in to get a stick of gum and blam, a car runs into you. Biden went to Michigan to pitch his Build Back Better plan. No idea. Johnson & Johnson Booster gives you 94% protection, equal protection against all variants. The French clergy sexually abused over 250,000 minors in like a span of 70 years. Japan has definitely sided with Taiwan. They've been prepping their missile defense systems in their southernmost islands because, as you know, China sent around 150 warplanes into the Taiwan defense zone. The U.S. is experiencing a record coin shortage, but good news. On Thursday, Google and YouTube announced they will demonetize any content questioning climate change. Good start. 
CVS, Walmart, and Walgreens could pay $15 billion in claims that they fueled the opioid epidemic. Biden met with the largest bank CEOs on Wednesday to tell them the risks of default because fuck the average American. It's all about the CEOs because companies are people now. Don't you understand that? Ken Burns said in an interview that with Will Arnett that he compares the era of crisis that we're now experiencing to that of the Great Depression, World War II, or the Civil War, and Ken definitely knows. Another school shooting in Texas to round things off, and a Nottingham girl that's six year, years old wins the Prime Minister Award for Climate Change Campaign. Beijing then ended up switching back and telling coal miners to add a whopping 100 million metric tons of production, the state media reported on Thursday. The Institute of Economics and Peace released a report on Thursday called the Ecological Threat Report. It's a vicious cycle linking the depletion of natural resources with violent conflict may have gone past the point of no return in parts of the world and is likely to be exacerbated by climate change. The re report identified 30 hotspot countries home to 1.26 billion people facing the most risks and yes, <clears throat> Afghanistan is at the top of the list. But we knew this already. Then Biden traveled to Chicago on Thursday with a meeting on vaccine requirements and his approval rating dropped to the lowest of 38%. You talk funny boy. Iraq wants to build 750 megawatt solar power plants in seven countries. And a new vaccine for malaria cuts down deaths by 40%. It's the first ever vaccine for this kind of illness. The Justice Department blocked the abortion law in Texas, and then it got reinstated by the end of the week. Biden administration, as promised, releases an alarming report on climate change. The report comes from 23 federal agencies examining how climate change will disrupt nearly all aspects of life, including traffic and disease. They called it in this report a destabilizing force that in the, even in the past few years has been rising exponentially and has forced U.S. military bases to evacuate. The U.S. economy, plagued by worker shortages, added just 194,000 jobs in September. Friday's monthly data shows the continued impact of the Delta variant and the critical shortage of workers. Because wages haven't risen, and we need to make a living. I have to work just to eat. Okay. A U.S. nuclear-powered submarine hits unknown objects in the South China Sea. It's probably pretty obvious that Trump committed obstruction of justice by directing his former aides to dodge subpoenas. We're not at that point of arresting public officials anymore, apparently. In any other country, they clearly would. California made it illegal to remove a condom while you're smashing without consent during intercourse, which I don't know how you can prosecute for unless they become pregnant, but that's another story. Uh, China's President Xi Jinping vowed on Saturday to reunify with Taiwan, and Taiwan angrily fired back and basically said, F you, we're doing our own thing. Nancy Pelosi flew to Europe, met with Pope Francis on Saturday, and the same day the pontiff gave a speech calling on lawmakers in countries around the world to act on climate change. On that January 6th committee subpoena note, Steve Bannon is claiming executive privilege, so he doesn't have to respond to the subpoena. Uh, there was a 63-year-old shooter in an elderly home outside of Maryland, and then there was a hostage situation in downtown Los Angeles over the weekend. Into extreme weather, there was a tropical storm in hitting Oman, killing 12 people at least. Italy got 29 inches of rain in 12 hours, 2.5 feet, or 60% of its rainfall. That's a new record. Also, 16 inches fell in West Bengal, India. Tokyo gets rocked by a 6.1 earthquake, the biggest since 2011. Trains were derailed, and aftershocks were all weekend. And there was another earthquake in Pakistan, killing at least 20. We're at the point now where extreme weather events are happening literally somewhere in the world daily. So these are just a few. All right, folks, this has been your October 11th update. Please support my Patreon, and that supports this channel. My name is Reagan. This is what's happening in the world, and I'll catch you guys next week. Be safe out there.